Hello friends, today I'll be discussing with you how to apply factor analysis. There are two type of factor analysis, the EFA and CFA. Today I'll be discussing with you how to apply EFA or exploratory factor analysis. Factor analysis is a tool for interdependence analysis, which means that all the variables which are considered are having the equal status. There is no independent or dependent variable as in the case of regression. There are only independent variables in this case. The goal for applying factor analysis is to reduce the data. Factor analysis simplifies data analysis by taking advantage of the correlation among variables by extracting the overlapping information and reducing the problem down to just few core factors. In order to demonstrate how factor analysis is applied, I am taking this example where the idea is to identify the factors that motivate people to use social networking sites. Based on the review of literature, 25 different items or variables have been identified as of that I use social networking sites in order to meet new people, to find other people like me and so on. There are 25 different variables or there are 25 different items for, uh, due to which people use social networking sites. Now each variable has been asked to be rated on a scale of 1 to 5 where 5 means strongly agree and 1 means strongly disagree. So in SPSS 25 different variables have been created and the values have been defined as 1 to 5 where 1 is strongly disagree and 5 is strongly agree. If we move to data view this questionnaire was presented for responses to 1000 people and their responses have been noted, noted down over here. This is hypothetical data uh, which has been used for the purpose of this demonstration only. So see there are 1000 responses from different people. Now in order to apply factor analysis I would be clicking on analyze. In analyze we would be going to the dimension reduction. In the dimension reduction option we would be selecting the factor. In the factor analysis main dialog box you would be able to see all the 25 variables listed in the left panel. Now we need to select all these variables which I can select by doing control plus A and I need to shift them into my variables. Now by selecting or clicking on the descriptive push button you will obtain the factor analysis descriptive dialog, uh, dialog box. We need to check this initial solution under the section of statistics as this would produce the unrotated factor analysis components such as commonalities, eigenvalues and percentages of variance. In the correlation metrics section select coefficient checkbox to produce the intercorrelation metrics for the variables being submitted. We also need to select the KMO and Bartlett's test of sphere city. KMO stands for the Kaiser Mayer Auckland which is a measure of sampling adequacy and Bartlett's test of sphere city is a statistical measure which verifies the null hypothesis that the variables are independent of each other. We would be selecting continue and now we would be selecting the extraction button over here. In the extraction button by default there is principal components which is highlighted. There are many other techniques but the default principal component method for fact extracting factors would be considered as it is considered as the most effective technique of extracting variance. In the rotation button or the factor analysis rotation window select Verimax that is the Verimax maximization rotation is an important concept in factor, factor analysis. Verimax method of rotation turns the variables in a model to be heavily loaded that is related to a single component or a factor only.
the components or factors developed through this rotation method are independent of each other which is also known as orthogonal this is the most common used rotation method in factor analysis let us click continue and we'll move to options in the options menu under the coefficient display format select the sorted by size option and also select suppress small coefficients and the generic or the standard absolute value below is 0.5 use the same one and click on continue once you are through with all these things just press ok as soon as you are able to see the output window first of all in the left side you will find there is KM1 Bartlett's test click on it and you will be able to see this KM1 Bartlett's test table as this KM1 uh, which is Kaiser Mayer Olkin measure of sampling adequacy is 0.883 it's, it is actually telling us that we can go ahead with the analysis as a journal guidelines a KMO measure of sampling adequacy of 0.5 or more is okay in case of factor analysis but less than 0.5 you need to seriously check your data now in the second case check this total variance explained table in the total variance explained first of all you'll be able to see that rotation sum of squared loadings in the cumulative column of the table check out the last value the last value is coming against the component 6 which is actually giving me a hint that 6 factors have been extracted and the total variance what the 6 factors are able to explain out of my data is 56.7 or approximately 57 percent in case of social sciences the journal rule is that the data should be able to extract minimum 60 percent of variance but certain exemptions are there or exceptions are there due to which even variance above 55 percent is also acceptable now check the rotated component metrics this is the table in which you will be able to find that what different factors have been extracted you are able to see that there are one two three four five and six factors being extracted and in factor one there are five variables or items as in case of factor one it is that i use social networking sites to learn about useful things to do research to learn or learn about unknown things to get new ideas to share new ideas and my achievements similarly in factor two there are four statements in factor three there are four in factor four there are three statements in factor five there are four variables and in factor six there are two now you just need to name these variables the naming of variables is completely subjective in nature you need to check out that what variable is this uh, which are coming into one factor and you need to give them a name which would define them as a cohort so this is how factor analysis is applied i hope that this tutorial is going to help you if you like this video do share or comment thank you so much have a nice day